What's going on people? Welcome back to the Ogano Art Family and today I'm going to be giving you guys five tips on improving your artwork you know or drawing or so you know and this is going to be you know comic bias so some of the tips are going to be solely for you know comics but you know you, you could use some of the other tips that I'm going to mention for your own your own uh, you know your own art related thing as well so tip number five I say to you know post your drawings on the wall and I feel this will you know subconsciously subconsciously amp you up to continue to you know continue to draw and at the same time it will constantly you know remind you of your mistakes for you to you know improve upon them you know and I know some people that are ashamed to look at their own artwork and I personally say that your artwork are your children and would you be ashamed to look at your own child you know so I said I would say you know be look at what you've created and be proud of what you've done you know and at the same time know the potential success of where your artwork can be in the future so I say you know just keep feeding and keep caring for the child unconditionally and you know by by feeding I mean by yeah by feeding I mean you know keep, constantly keep feeding the child by feeding I mean practicing okay so keep practicing your artwork you know feeding practicing you know show it new experiences show the child new experiences show your artwork new experiences new experiences as in challenges so you know constantly keep challenging yourself as to you know just constantly keep challenges yourself as to where you want to you know be and I feel those challenges will make you you know will get you to where you want to go with your art you know and so I have this uh, personal quote when it comes to art and I say that perfection is an illusion when it comes to art because you can constantly keep growing with your art you can constantly keep improving with your art and so you know you can yeah you, you can just cause it's endless you know it's just an endless cycle until you're until death arrives you know you can constantly get, keep challenging yourself the same thing goes for you know a child you know a child isn't perfect it could constantly keep growing and keep growing and learning new experiences but there are some people that feel that they have it all figured out and they stop growing and they stop learning and that's when you know the gro the growth just becomes static you know, so you want to constantly keep giving yourself new experiences, constantly keep challenging yourself, you know. So, yeah, post your drawings on the wall. And um, so, like, I know some people that uh, constantly compare their artwork to someone who's more experienced and then they get disappointed w with their own creation, you know. So the type of logic that we're playing at when we're doing this is like you know you're comparing your child to you know let's say you know someone like you know someone who's reached a high point of success let's, let's just say you know bill gates or so okay so that's the first person that comes to mind so that's like saying hey five-year-old child who's still growing why aren't you a millionaire millionaire yet i hate I hate you for not being successful already and so so you know that's the type of logic that we're playing at and the child hasn't even you know gotten the experience to get to that level yet you know and you're like it takes patience for the growth to happen it takes patience for a, a one month old child to become you know an 80 year old man it takes you know those years it takes patience you know and when we compare our artwork to someone who's you know a lot more experienced we have no business doing that because that's like um again you're comparing your artwork to uh, someone who you know has that experience there already he had he had those he or she had those you know years of you know practice already you know she, they had that experience already you just have to, you know, be patient, love what you're doing, and, you know, just constantly just keep growing, you know, constantly keep, you know, challenging yourself, and you'll, you'll eventually get there, you know, so, yeah, that, that's tip number five, it's a pretty long tip, 
But yeah. Okay, so moving on to tip number four, which is, you know, draw from observation or reference when you're making your characters, you know, or mastering certain poses. So, so say you are going to a college, you know, you know, there, there are, um, I, for, for me, for example, there's drawing one and then there's figure drawing, which is like completely two different classes, you know, and I say if you're, if you're going to, you know, a college you know find your best find the best teacher there at that particular art school you know and you know you could, you could go to like rate my professor or so you know find find that that best teacher to teach you that that um the drawing stuff and um and so for me i didn't really have a good drawing teacher back then and i can tell you for sure that you know however i could tell you for sure that drawing from observation or from you know observation to look at looking at the you know human figure and looking at you know certain objects did help quite a lot when it translated to you know just looking at pictures or so it's like three you're looking at 3d you're ma trying to master 3d and when you look at something that's from 2d like from you know computer screen or so or a picture it's a lot easier to you know digest and draw so you know back then i, I don't think my art teacher was really that good but the the lessons did help you know i currently i'm not currently made i'm not currently like majoring in art at the moment i'm doing something else it, it, it's kind of a combination of science math and art Bef previously at my old college i did something that was purely art so right now i'm taking a drawing class called figure drawing this is a good teacher that i have and i also like the uh, the lessons because it, it's purely just you know studying the figures and so and yeah, that's why I say to, you know, get a good teacher. You want to have a good start. You want to have like that, that good start, you know, and I feel like a good teacher will, you know, provide that for you. So now we're going to like time travel and go back to the past. And, you know, like I said, the 3D learning from observation did translate well from 2D. So I didn't have the uh, drawing class anymore because that semester was over. So the 2d part came from you know looking at you know google images looking at different poses and when i was you know drawing my characters or so i just used references from you know google images i know deviantart has a lot of you know people posing and whatnot you could use that you know just look at certain poses while you're drawing your characters you know you want to try to master you know as try to you know test out as much poses as possible for you to you know get used to you know the 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 uh you know the mm, i can't find the word at the moment but you know the, just to get used to you know the the art thing but anyway moving on to uh tip number uh, three so tip number three work at your own pace and don't try to overdo it or else you're gonna burn yourself out so I feel that you know you can gain you know five years of what a person usually can gain if he like continues to you know you know do what he's doing and then after he finished he burns out he does what he does and then continues to bur burn out you can just learn just as much information as that person who's constantly burning out that takes five years of you know experience to learn a particular topic and you can you know crunch it down to you know two or three years if you work at your own pace because i feel you'll eventually get faster and that's just my own personal opinion you know so I say work at a reasonable a reasonable pace for you and not what's reasonable for anyone else. And, you know, you'll eventually get there. And, you know, if you do want to overdo it, per se, make sure it feels fun. You don't want to have a stressful feeling while you're overdoing it, quote unquote, you know. 
and like when you need to stop you just you know gotta stop so I'm gonna put forth you know more personal experience so personal experience right so I'm able to just I know I know a lot of people I know some people can that can produce you know just a page a day you know but for me it, it usually just takes you know four days for me to you know plan out the page ink to like you know pencil it pencil it in you know ink it and then edit it on you know photoshop or you know manga studio that that usually just takes me like three days within like the, the full on you know 24 hours of of that particular day or so you know so but however like previously previously like when i was first starting out it would usually like take me like six or seven hours or so to like draw just one character so yeah i've improved by you know going at my own particular pace and i've gotten faster with it so yeah work at your own pace so moving on to uh tip number two and um tip number two is uh choosing a art style that you imbi- that you admire most so choosing you know if you admire a comic artist like you know oda you know choose do your best to like mimic a page from his you know from his you know manga or so and you know just it doesn't have to look exactly alike because all in truth you both have your own unique style but it can it can be close enough you know so like look very closely as to where the artist you know place his details position positioned his characters place the anatomy uh first i'd say to learn the rules before you break the rules oda is kind of breaking the rules with his art style so i wouldn't really recommend him i mean you could do him too but he i i feel oda already knows the rules and he's kind of breaking the rules so you know choose a artists that you know that does have some that that is still following the rules and you know try to mimic that and then you can you know do whatever you know you can you know elongate the uh the uh the hips or the the legs or so you can do whatever just know know the rules first and the last tip is tip number one and that will like be like a combination of all the other tips that i've mentioned so tip number one is finally you know making a long-running comic after you've practiced you know drawing your characters or getting used to reference you know try aiming for you know detail a detailed comic or so similar to how the professional artists make it now not not all comics have to you know be this way you know i mean there are some you know there are, there are other comics that you know for example some there are some comedy comics that aren't really that detailed but you know this is you know for my experience or so if you're looking to make you know something that's you know just just detailed or so um just aim for how your favorite professional artist makes their the panel you know and if it doesn't come out the way you want it don't get too discouraged or so you know, just see this this comic project as you know just a fun test. You know, you know, and you and you want to keep uh, challenging yourself to do better. You know, and I feel doing this will uh, doing this comic thing pretty much forces you to draw every day. Oh, and did I mention that it had to be thirty to forty pages max? Now you you don't have to do that. You could you could do twenty if you want to, but I, I I would recommend to aim for you know thirty to forty pages at max because it just pretty much forces you to you know draw every day, and and also challenge yourself while you're drawing each page. Make sure each page is challenging to you. Each of those forty pages or thirty pages is just a challenge to you. And at like the same time, work at your own pace. You know, if it takes you one year or two years, you know, don't don't rush yourself. Don't rush the progress. It's it's not going to be fun. You know, work at your own pace. 
don't don't make any deadlines because that will only you know rush the process and so and plus you will get discouraged or saddened if you don't meet that deadline and yeah a lot a lot of people are so focused on you know getting stuff done now 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 and and not enjoying the journey because it's really all about the journey you know not the end game and i feel like a lot of people have forgotten the act of patience and patience is really necessarily necessary when you you know dealing with topics of you know creativity you need you need that patience you know and i and i would recommend to you know learn some patience or so or to develop that act of patience cuz it'll be a really important role in your success or evolution or so and plus you, that the patience that you learn from art you can you know branch that out to other things like people or you know any other topic you know but yeah like 40 to 30 pages may seem like a lot but you know don't worry about finishing it just constantly be on that journey every day just do do as much as you can every single day you know work at your own pace but do it every day e even if it's like you're just drawing a face for that page you know just do that for the for the day you know and i guarantee you if each page e each of those 40 pages is like a challenge and you're constantly keep pushing you will improve very really really fast within a year or two and i would say also have a also have the comic of person that you really admire most you know so just have a comic beside you and keep using that comic as a reference as to how the author place like introduce their characters the way they introduce the scene or so just have that reference with you like how many backgrounds did this this your favorite author include in one page or so the different you know the different side profiles the different ways of shading like keep track of all that and try to you know mimic that within that those for that 40 page comic you know it doesn't have to be 40 pages it's, it could be 30 it could even be 20 or so but you know I, I would recommend you know aim for 30 or 40 so that's gonna be it guys and oh my god this video is long <laughs> this is oh okay so this is gonna be it guys Hit, hit, hit like if you like the content, subscribe if you want more, and that'll be it. Peace out, guys.